Now let us discuss about linear bounded automata. In short, we can call it as LBA. Uh, we know that context sensitive grammar (CSC) context sensitive grammar generates context sensitive languages, and context sensitive languages are accepted by linear bounded automata, just like. Uh, uh, regular grammar generates regular languages. Regular languages are accepted by finite automata. And context-free grammar generates context-free languages. And context-free languages are accepted by the uh, pushdown automata. Here, a linear bounded automata is more powerful than pushdown automata. So, linear bounded automata is more powerful than the pushdown automata. And it is uh, uh, less powerful than the Turing machine. It is less powerful than the Turing machine. Okay. Uh, now let us discuss about uh, how to define uh, linear bounded automata. Uh, we define linear bounded automata by using with uh, seven tuples. Seven tuples. So those are Q, comma, sigma, comma, tau, comma. Delta, comma, Q naught, comma, F, comma, M. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Where Q means set of states, sigma means input alphabet, input alphabet. Tau means tape alphabet. So, tau means tape alphabet. Tape alphabet contains input alphabet as well as markers. So we have two types of markers are there. Uh, that is left marker and uh, right marker. Lefty end marker. We have two types of markers are there. Left end marker and uh, right end marker. Right end marker. So before the input string we have left end marker. After the input string we have right end marker. Here tape alphabet contains input alphabet symbols as well as marker symbols also. Okay. Next, delta is a transition function which maps from Q cross tau to Q cross tau and we can move the read right head either left or right. So, delta is a transition function which maps from Q cross tau. What is tau? It is a tape alphabet. Tape alphabet means it contains input alphabet symbols as well as the end marker. Uh, so, we have so this is a transition function which maps from this to this. So this is the this state is the current state. This state is the new state, next to state. So current state, next state. And uh, uh, this is nothing but tau. So we have to replace uh, this symbol with this symbol. Okay. Uh, just like the Turing machine. Uh, this symbol is replaced with this symbol. And we have to move the uh, read right head either towards the left or either towards the right. Okay. Next, M means end marker. So, we have two types of end markers are there. Left end marker and right end marker. Okay. So, before the input string, we have left end marker. After the input string, we have uh, uh, right end marker. Okay. So, this is the formal definition for the uh, linear bounded automata. Uh, now, let us see the model. That is diagram for the linear bounded automata. Model or uh, diagram of the linear bounded automata. So, here also it contains mainly three components. The first component is input tape. Uh, like the string is AAB. Here the input tape is divided into number of cells. Where each cell contains uh, one symbol at a time. Before the, uh, before the input string we have left hand marker. Let us denote with the help of uh, ML. So, ML means left hand marker. So, which is represented by some left square bracket. Or we can use dollar symbol also. Uh, next right square bracket here the right square bracket uh, represents right end marker okay and the next component is uh, read right head read right head so with the help of the read right head we can perform either read operation or right operation just like the turing machine we can move the read right head either from left to right or from right to left it is our choice but here one constraint is we can't move the head after the left square bracket okay we can move the read right head up to this position only we can't move beyond this left hand marker. Okay. Likewise, we can't move the read right head after the right hand marker. 
So after the right square bracket, we can't move the read right hand. Okay. So maximum we can move up to this symbol and up to this symbol. Okay. Maximum we can move up to this only. Okay. So these are known as end markers. Okay. Here, why this is called as linear bounded automata? The major difference between between the Turing machine and linear linear bounded automata is in Turing machine, the length of the input tape is infinite. So we can store infinite number of symbols in the input tape. Whereas here, the length of the input tape is bounded. So bounded means finite. So we can store only finite number of symbols. If you take this uh, this example, the input tape mainly contains five symbols only. So these are the three symbols of the input string and left hand marker and right hand marker. So that's why this is called as linear bounded automata. So bounded means uh, bounded means the input tape capacity is bounded. Bounded means finite. Uh, next uh, next we have a finite control. So finite control unit. Finite control unit. So finite control unit contains uh, a number of states like Q0, Q1. So all the states are present in the finite control unit. Okay. Finite control unit. Uh, so we can say that linear bounded automata is more powerful than the push down automata, but less powerful than the Turing machine because of this constraint. Okay. We can uh, hear the input tape is finite, whereas in Turing machine, the input tape is infinite. So this is about introduction to Linear bounded automata.